Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. Welcome to my channel. My channel is about ascension, twin flames, soulmates, love and healing, and everything that goes with life. How are you today? Hey, are you having some pretty wild dreams? They've been pretty wild for about a month now for a lot of people. A lot of people are having a lot of confusion about what these dreams mean. They're basically a resolution. Don't act on the dreams. <laughs> That's a weird thing people start doing. They start thinking the dream is prophetic. It's predicting something or they need to take action. Do nothing. Do nothing. Now, what needs to fix comes after you have some of these dreams. It can involve your exes. It can involve a false twin. It can involve family situations, money situations, all kinds of things that impact your life. It's time to get back to real living. And it's really time for a lot of people to get their head out of that spiritual woo-woo fluffy butt stuff. I'm going to say it again and again. It's time for real action, okay? Because all of the angers going back and forth, that doesn't help. It just, in fact, weighs everyone down and makes everyone sick. People are struggling at workplaces because of the emotions, and they're not sure if they want to work. They're not sure if they want to be in that atmosphere. So i got to ask a question right now. Do you sometimes feel like you'd love to help humanity? How would you like to help humanity ascend out of that place? Okay, because the real way we help other humans is by getting their angelic sides up and running. I have created a course. It's in a five-part uh, module to bring you step-by-step -step to learn how to help others. Now, I myself work between the fifth to the eighth dimension for the most part to help people get out of those levels. But I can't clone myself. In fact, cloning should not be a thing. It should be where everyone is bringing their unique blend to how they are going to help people within a framework. And I have that framework. I know how to get things open for you. So what does this have to do with your dreams? Well, let's remember the why, okay? Why you felt some activation or why you felt a glimmer of love and then, you know, it seemed to be very elusive. I can tell you right now, if it's been eluding you, you're looking in the wrong direction, okay? Do an about face, focus on you, let's get this going, and let's see what your dreams are. So your dreams are on, a, are on certain levels. Your dreams are on the physical level, what you see here around you. What do you see in your environment, in your community? What do you bear witness to? Like, what are you seeing that you're just kind of like, wow, that's a shame. That needs to change. It's time for it to go beyond the handouts of charity. And really get into empowerment of people. How would you like to really know that the energy of who loves you is actually not only with you, but in you? Okay, so when people say like, oh, it's all inside you. And you're kind of like, where? What is inside me? There's a little seeds inside you. There's a lot more than seeds, okay? You came in here prepared for it, okay? So even if it's confusing, I know how to bring it out of you. Every single aspect of your life is going to be affected by ascension, whether you like it or not. So once you first have that thing, the minute you started knocking on the door, it's on. There's no turning back. Not only that, we're all past the point of no return because we can't go backwards. I mean, sincerely, does anyone remember the War of the Roses? You're probably drawing a blank right now saying, what the hell is that? Where was it? Was I there? Was that one of my past lives? Don't even worry your pretty little head about it. We got to move forward. Now, the wounds born by that trauma, yeah, that needs to be addressed 
for not just one person, a lot. Not everything is attributable to COVID either. I know that a lot of people like to blame or use COVID as the excuse for so many things. You know, COVID's the excuse that they have a mental illness instead of it runs in their family. COVID is the excuse for their financial issues instead of, hey, maybe we need to really look at our budget. COVID is the excuse that the supply chains, hey, no, it's time for people to be inventive, to remember the why, but not just remember it with the head, to feel it and feel those creative impulses. Now, what about the next level of dreams? The next level of dreams is about parts of your physical life, like what you would call the day in and day out situations. If you don't have some wherewithal to help you process and resolve that, then you're really going to be lost. If you're drowning it in substances, you know, if you're having trouble sleeping, then you're not learning the right way to do this stuff. If you're just trying to suppress it, drown it out, numb it out, no more numbing. It's going to keep finding you. And I know this because I went through it years ago where no matter what I did to try to get decent sleep, I just couldn't. You have to not only surrender to it, but surrender parts of yourself that are proper while doing other parts that you can do. That is a proper surrender. It's not like being a slug that lays in the road waiting to be rolled over by a car, even though it feels like that sometimes. Your other half is relying on you from the inside out. You know, people tend to forget that, that the true accountability happens when you are in care of each other, of transformation that benefits both of you. Okay, and I'm going to just say it right here because I know that there's people who are looking at a false twin saying, but they don't care. Bullshit. Your real twin cares. Okay, and time to get with the program. Now. What is the next level, the merge? If you're not having high level, fabulously, gloriously, meltingly orgasmic experiences of melting parts of you together, you are missing out. Let me tell you, friends, this is one of the main things that has kept me going. I've had people write into me and say, how do you do this, Patricia? Like, how do you keep going? And yeah, how have I kept going after 15 years? It's because I get myself to that level of merge me and do that to me one more time, baby, again and again and again. I'm here to lead people out of those old levels. And what better way to do it than, yes, by being one of those people, as you can see. Do you see another person with me? The only way I've got to do it is with my heart. And I get highly criticized for not being with someone. Well, sorry, I'm not going to be with a false twin. I'm not going to be with just a soulmate. I already had those fabulously, crashingly terrible soulmate endings. Not going to do it anymore. I'm not subjecting myself to it. I'm not clearing another person's energy out of me. I refuse. I worked way too long and too hard once I really started understanding what is really here available. New levels of health, a new life, not just a lifestyle, a brand new life. Easy to maintain. An abundant life that doesn't require boatloads of money, although money is certainly comfortable. Money does make things comfortable. Comfort makes things comfortable. Comfort lets you pamper and care for yourself and is proper self-care. And if you can't do that, then you're not putting the oxygen mask on yourself so you can turn around and even help another human being, including your kids. The kids need it too. They're going to race right past you and you're going to be standing there wondering what is going on because it's still going to keep spinning in space unless you get with the Twin Flame Body Program for doing your journey, doing it properly, stop fishing around, and start making sense of it. Now, what about it? There is a brand new light body. 
that brand new light body needs to connect to certain levels, which means you have to connect to certain levels and the way has to be paved for you to be able to do that. You have to ditch the world. How do you do that? Well, first of all, shut out the distractions. If you're busy focusing on what every other child on the planet, you know, like that expression, pay attention to you, don't pay attention to all the other kids on the playground, what they're doing, but that one's picking on that one, but that one blew up something, but that one is depriving someone. Focus on you first because you cannot go wrong, okay? And it's really hard. It's really hard to, because I feel like that. I feel like someone who is a first responder, but unless I go up for the proper help, I can't help people. I'm just sticking a Band-Aid on a glaring wound that needs a lot more, okay? I regularly hear from people how much they're spending on their mental health, $30,000, $6,000, emergency room visits. When is enough enough? When are we going to address what is really happening here? So the light body is a big part of it. If you're ignoring that and you're trying to do things just with, you know, like the old tools, that's not going to cut it anymore. You need more. You need engagement and you need elevation. I know how to teach that very easily. That's what I do in every single class. In fact, they're broken down into three-part segments that tote you along. If you're aware of it, you have to seek your other and all of those little feelings that you get where you're like, something's happening, it's not abstract. You can't make this stuff up. It is really happening. Don't make it think that you're crazy. Learning to distinguish what is you and what is the rest of the collective as you go through it is highly critical to your own health and well-being. And that's just to get you through it. That doesn't actually ascend you. That just helps you separate yourself from the collective, from the world, whatever you want to call it. The meltingly, gloriously orgasmic experience of merging with your other half on multiple levels is what you're missing. That is what fills your cup. That is what gives you the love, energizes you, gives you the creativity, gives you the health. If you are not merging, you will not get healthy. If you are not merging, you will not create. If you are not merging, you will not be together. It's that simple. I'm here to help with this. And yeah, I sound bossy because I see a lot of things that are wrong. I can't do this by myself. I need you. I need you to help support the cause. I need you to help with my practitioners who are ready to go and help you. I need us to get going with what is sensible and correct. and isn't blamey, shamey, judgy, but to really get it going. When you have the perspective of an ascended being, you actually stop those things and solutions start coming. It's, it's like this. It's like, okay, yeah, a lot of people, you know, suddenly were like, wow, this is in the collective mind. There are people running their entire office from something this big. <laughs> How amazing is that? How much does that free up a lot of, you know, average Joes or average Janes to be able to do something they really like doing, to be mobile, to not have to wait weeks. And this is just one sector, okay? I myself struggle with technology a little bit, but you have to use it like the tool it is and not use it as a toy to distract you. You have to be able to have some self-discipline and accountability, responsibility, and love, and please let's get this going. Look in the description below. Check out my website, twinflamesmerge.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.